Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, we will discuss about the methods of creating sticky ends and it will include linkers, adapters and homopolymer tailing. So without any delay, uh, let's start the video. So uh, first of all, uh, we should know that uh, what are blunt end and sticky ends. So in this molecule, this is a typical DNA molecule. In this molecule, you can clearly see that the right hand side end it is known as the blunt end why because it do not have any unpaired base so the end which do not have any overhang or unpaired base pairs that end is known as blunt end while the left hand side end it has one or more unpaired or overhang bases so that end is known as sticky end why because now these unpaired base pairs they can easily base pair with some another DNA molecule which also have unpaired base pairs so the blunt end they do not base pair or you can say do not bind to other DNA molecule so efficiently as compared to sticky ends so in order to combine the two dna molecule we generally make sticky and dna molecule so if that molecule is a blunt end molecule so in that molecule by making the use of linkers adapters or homopolymer tailing we convert the blunt end into the sticky ends why because you can clearly see the sticky end has unpaired base pair so it can easily bind to other DNA molecule which also have sticky ends. So how the blunt end is converted into sticky end? So that will be covered in the that will be covered in the next slides. So first way of converting blunt end molecule into the sticky end molecule is the use of linkers. So what are the linkers? Linkers are synthetic oligonucleotide molecules which have restriction site and blunt end so in this diagram it this molecule it has blunt end means it is a blunt ended molecule and it also have restriction sites so the linkers these are blunt end molecules and having restriction sites within them and on you can say on cleavage of these restriction sites generally the molecule produce that will be the sticky end molecule now in this example that how we can produce a sticky end by use of by using these linkers so here this is the blunt end dna molecule to which you want to create the sticky end molecule so we take linkers and in the first step these linkers these are allowed to join with this blunt end molecule and the enzyme which is help in the binding is DNA ligase so now you can clearly see the linkers has been attached to this blunt end DNA molecule now in the next step as we know that the restriction site is there so we use that particular restriction enzyme which cleave within this restriction site so this scissor it represent the restriction endonuclease enzyme so this scissor will cleave within this restriction site and produce sticky ends which is clearly seen in this diagram so by making the use of linkers we can easily produce sticky ends from the blunt end dna molecules now adapters adapters are also used to create sticky ends from the blunt end in comparison to linkers which have both blunt ends these adapters have one blunt end and one sticky ends which is in the diagram so which have unpaired molecule or unpaired bases this is the blunt end and which sorry the which do not have any unpaired base which is the blunt end and which have unpaired bases that is the sticky end or cohesive end but point to be noted that here this sticky end it do not have phosphate group so adapters which have one blunt end and other cohesive or sticky end and which is not phosphorylated 
Now let's see how these adapters help to produce sticky and from the blunt end DNA molecule. So here again this is the blunt end DNA molecule in which the both ends are blunt end and these are the adapters. So the first step is the binding of these adapter molecule to this blunt end molecule. So again the enzyme used is DNA ligase. So by this enzyme these adapters these are binding to the both of ends of this blunt end DNA molecule. Now in the next step we use the enzyme polynucleotide kinase which transfer or which add the phosphate group to the 5 dash end of this adapter molecule because this adapter molecule it do not have phosphate. So now with the help of enzyme polynucleotide kinase this phosphate group will be added to the 5 dash end of the adapter molecule and now you will have the new DNA molecule which have sticky end. So you can see that from the blunt end DNA molecule now we have the sticky end DNA molecule. The next is the homopolymer tailing which is also used to create the sticky ends. In this method we generally add the tail of same kind of base pairs like this is the blunt end DNA molecule and with the help of the enzyme that is terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase we add the nucleotides to the both ends of the blunt end DNA molecule and transform or change this blunt end DNA molecule into sticky end DNA molecule as we clearly seen the N this N represent any nucleotide means N can be adenine you can either add the homopolymer tail of adenine guanine cytosine or thymidine so N represent that it can be any nucleotide either A G C T so with help of the enzyme terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase we can clearly add the nucleotides to the ends and we can create sticky ends from the blunt end DNA molecule. So that was all about the linkers, adapters and homopolymer tailing which is used for creating the sticky ends to the blunt end DNA molecules. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.